Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to the Grow Tent, everybody. You have found the best growing channel on YouTube, man. The place where we simplify the approach for you so everyone can learn how to grow. We make it so simple, even I can understand. So I'm going to listen and learn right now. Woo! What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Grow Tent. We got a great episode for you today. Let me adjust this camera just a touch. It's a little sideways. There we go. All right, perfect. Eh, maybe not perfect. There we go. All right, now it's perfect. All right, guys, we got a great episode for you today. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate everybody that watches the channel, likes the videos, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, we got a great episode for you today. Today, we're going to be talking about the most dangerous yeah, branches in your garden and why you should cut them off and not try and save them. Uh, so we'll be talking about that today. But first, as always, it's the intro. Guys, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, watch the full videos. Uh, much, much appreciated. Thank you to all the new subscribers and all the previous subscribers. You guys are all awesome. Uh, if you haven't joined our Patreon yet, you should check it out. Video in the or video. Link in the video description below. Um, a lot of really awesome benefits in the Patreon. I can't really get into them on here, but trust me. They're really good. Uh, you should probably check it out. All right. Today's video. Let's get going. All right, so what are you talking about, GT? Most dangerous branches. And like clockwork, the bulldog starts attacking the Jack Russell. Bella, hey, leave her alone. Good girl, sit. <laughs> so what are you talking about, GT? What are you talking about dangerous branches? All right, let's say we're into flower and we're at the end of week three flower. So the stretch is ending, the stretch is over. Um, and we had branches that just didn't quite make it up to the scrog net. So you got your scrog net up here and you got most of your branches in your canopy are all hanging out up here in the scrog net. So no, I'll be back. Apparently the dog's gonna start barking. All right, we're gonna try that again. The dogs have stopped barking. <laughs> They're like, oh, dad, dad's recording. Rawr. All right, so you've got your scrog net up here. All of your branches have grown up through the scrog net as you've uh, trained them out uh, for the first three weeks of edge. So we've got the scrog net up, we've got the branches up. Today we're gonna to talk about those branches that didn't just quite make it up to the scrog net. You got a couple of options what you can do with them. And I'm just gonna tell you, it's better off to cut them off. But these branches, you know, I'm telling you right now, as soon as I start explaining this, you're gonna understand what they are. So these branches are the branches that kind of grew out a little wider than the rest of the than the rest of the plant while the other ones kind of went up and out. These are the ones that kind of grow out like this and then they just, they never made it up to the scrog net. They probably got close to it, but they're just kind of hanging out right here. And right now they're fine because they're just kind of hanging out and they're growing out like this and they're sitting like your scrog nets here and they're sitting out here towards the edge of your plant. They never just quite made it up to the same height. And your original thought is, yeah, they're fine. They're just hanging out down there, but they won't be. So in a few weeks, those exact same branches, once they start, once the buds start putting on weight, what's going to happen is they're going to go from hanging out like this to falling down. And then you're going to have these branches that since they're not supported by the scrog net, they're going to fall down. And what happens is these branches that were once up like this into the light fall down like this. And now they're kind of drooping down. They're whether you've got leaves or whatever hanging down down into your soil or, your, or into your bucket. It's just not a good sign. And what happens eventually is these are a lot of times the exact same branches that will end up herming because they're no longer up in the light. They're laying down onto the ground. It's just a bad recipe all around. They can actually ruin your entire grow by just not clipping these branches off. Now, this is not to say you have to clip them off. Uh, one of the fixes I've come up for this, the branches that just don't quite make it up to the scrog net, I, I imagine me, like you, I have a bunch of extra scrog net laying around from old nets that I had cut up. Just grab, cut off a, a few pieces of string, like six to eight inches of string, tie one end onto your scrog net, just like a little double knot, ch -ch -ch, tie it up, and then run that line down to the branch that before it's fallen, just do this preemptively, they're going to fall if you're not supporting them, uh, and run it down and then tie the other end onto the branch and just let it hang there and now the scrog net will support it because it's tied it's tethered to it um, if you don't want to do that let's say you got a bunch of those branches just clip them off you have to do one of those two things they have to have get supported somehow so they don't fall or you can just clip them and cut them off I'm telling you right now this is a short video just i wanted to get talk to you guys about this 
short video, just don't let those things fall and hang down and be like, oh yeah, they're fine down there. They're not. If you're not going to tie them up onto the scrog net, just go ahead and clip them off. It'll save you a giant headache and possibly sa save you from seeding out your, uh, your entire garden, which nobody wants that except maybe me. Not from that way, from doing it the correct way, but not that way. I wouldn't seed a garden. It's just not the incorrect way <laughs> like that. I wouldn't want those seeds. I'd throw all those away. All right. So I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of the week. And uh, what else? Uh, we got a car video coming out here pretty soon on the other channel. If you like watching that, there's links to it in the video description below. And uh, that should be out, I don't know, maybe this weekend. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. All right. I'll see you guys later. GT. Out.